All right, so you guys complained that I didn't make a list for non-gun items from SHOT Show 2023, so now it's time for you to complain about my list of the top 10 non-gun items from SHOT Show 2023. Lightning round, let's go. Number 10, appropriately, the Blue Force Gear 10-speed split rig. It's pricey, but it's nicey. Made by BFG operators, expertly demoed by Chris Sizelove, director of training at Blue Force Gear, this rig is minimalist, but it can take a maximalist. Eight magazines of 5.56 or 308 mags, plus plenty of laser cut 10 speed molly for attaching additional pouches as needed for sticks of Burt's Bees or tubes of Pervitin. It's also comfy and easy on, easy off with the split front. You can zip on, zip off, or just Knock it down a few notches to let your man boobs breathe. Number nine is a $300 backpack that can hold an iPad, two sleeves of Titleist, a tube of Pringles, and the HK P7M13. You definitely own if you're spending this much on a goddamn day pack. But over 100,000 of you watched the video on the new Spiritus day pack and fanny pack. So we're gonna have to put those both at number nine. I really love the backpack. It's the perfect size for random shit I need day to day or flying on an airplane. And it comes in Florida Man official Multicam Tropic camo. Though I prefer the original sub abdominal carry kit, the new Spiritus fanny packs are made specifically for concealed handgun carry. So they're slightly larger and flatter than the originals, but you can jam a Glock 19 or a Glock 17 with optic in there. Like I said, this video is at 114,000 views and still trucking, which is a lot of views for a soft good video. So that Spiritusy gotta be on the list. Number eight is the new SIG Romeo M17, an American-made enclosed pistol optic. SIG straight up stole the show with this quote on the very first day of SHOT Show, calling it. John, would you say that this is your toughest pistol optic? I don't know, it might be a stretch. I would but... say it is by far the best pistol optic ever made by humans. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you heard it here first, the toughest optic ever created by the hands of man. I'm really looking forward to these coming. Out. Number seven, LARPers Rejoice 511s releasing their first ever set of full uniform combat BDUs. I know my friends at 511, who sponsored our coverage of the show, are going to forgive me for expecting the VXI uniforms to be baggy Quantico cargo pants and a glorified Condor potato sack top, but 511 actually did a wonderful job making functional, well-planned out uniforms that look handsome to boot, and I bet they're going to be reasonably priced. Right now, they're law enforcement only, but 511 is open to selling them on the civilian market if the civilian market would actually buy them. Drop a comment below or go check out that video whenever it runs if you'd be interested because I know 511's checking the comments for consumer feedback. Number six, B&T is making suppressors that work with Surefire mounts. Up until today, I'm pretty sure that no one but Surefire made suppressors for the WarComp or SOCOM muzzle devices. And those, of course, are excellent suppressors, but very pricey. Now, renowned Swiss suppressor manufacturer B&T is making top quality cans compatible with Surefire mounts for under $700. Moreover, B&T is also introducing a similarly priced line of cans that are going to be quick attach or quick detach to a plain Jane $2 A2 flash hider, pretty effing cool. Number five, while we're talking suppressors, I guess I should bring up JK Armament. They had one of the best suppressors at the show when you factor in cost. The JK195 series, priced between $599 and $899. The 195 is a 12 gauge compatible suppressor. That's also modular. You can add and remove baffles as you'd like, and the price is right. As of right now, they're compatible with Remington chokes. If you don't have a rim choke threaded shotgun, they'll thread yours for just $179, and you're still coming in at a pretty reasonable overall price. Number four, unapologetic Glock Shill. You guys know it. They've sponsored the program in the past. I've always loved Glock. I'm excited about the Glock Performance Trigger. I've never had anything but Glock stock triggers in my Glocks with the occasional addition of a Glock three and a half pound connector. I simply don't trust non-Glock parts in my reliable Glocks. I know everyone wants to be a special snowflake with red anodized bullshit and Punisher skull slide covers, but you know what, Glock is fine. That's why I was happy to try out the new Glock performance trigger with Shane Coley, captain of the Glock shooting team at $99 each. 
They're gonna sell like crazy, and apparently Glock has already sold out of the first run on their web shop because I went there after the show to buy it, it says sold out. I would make this number one on this list, but I know you guys would probably string me up by the sack. Glock haters can S my B's. Let's get to the number threes. Number three, the Leupold Mark V HD 2 to 10X optic. When known glass autist Pop calls it the holy grail of SPR optics, good enough for me. Starting at a steep $1,999 MSRP, these are gonna be pricey, but they're gonna be light at a pound and a half with a small profile, 11 inches, about the same length as an AR-15 magazine. Leupold's built these to be virtually bomb-proof. They're made in the USA. They've got a lifetime warranty. They're probably gonna kick ass. I think I need one. One away from number one. For number two, has to go to the Holosun SCRS, or the Solar Charging Rifle Sight. I bought the SCS, or the Pistol Solar Charging Sight. For my Glock 47 review, I was blown away with how little solar charging this optic needs to render bright, long-lasting output for an entire range session. Now, Holosun's bringing that technology to a rifle optic. While I personally would prefer to have a battery backup just in case, Using just a solar rechargeable battery for the SERS makes these very small, very light. Holosun has proven over the years they can manufacture a durable, long-lasting optic that'll hold zero, and now it looks like they're showing us how far they can go with solar capability. Holosun's coming straight at the Aimpoint Micro with this new addition, and at under $300 per optic, it's less than half the cost of the micro. It's hard to imagine that anyone's gonna be as dominant in the civilian optic market as Holosun in 2023, because these guys, they just keep turning it out. Innovative, useful products that perform almost as well as the top brands in that sector, but at less than half the price. You know what, f it, let's let Holosun take the whole thing while we're at it. The most viewed video for SHOT 2023 for a non-firearm accessory was our video on Holosun's upcoming thermal and night vision optics. Essentially, these optics are built on Holosun's previous AEMS optic, but they add night vision and thermal capability. While these units offer good performance, of course, it doesn't approach ultra high-end offerings like, say, the Steiner CQT. However, the Steiner CQT is 10 grand a unit while the night vision optics from Holosun are gonna start at $1,000 and the top end thermals are gonna be less than 2,500 bucks. I'm not passing myself off as a night vision or thermal expert, these could suck for all I know. However, the consensus among SHOT Show attendees who were dialed in on night vision and thermal said that these Holosun digital optics have unreal performance for the price. And again, this was clearly the people's choice with 140,000 views for that video and climbing, it was our most watched accessory video of 2023, so it has to be number one, right? You know what? Actually, I changed my mind. I've got to change the number one. The number one non-gun for me at SHOT Show 2023 was you, the TFB TV viewer. I love you guys. You really made it special this year. This is the last video that we're gonna turn out for SHOT Show 2023. I turned 40, a lot of you came to my 40th birthday at the Double Down Saloon. It was great seeing you. You know, I say it all the time, I'm incredibly thankful to be doing what I'm doing. I can't believe I get paid to go to SHOT Show every year and to come back and bitch at and with you guys about all the stuff that I saw there. So stay tuned, of course. I'm gonna be going to SHOT Shows until I'm dead. Hopefully that's not for a while now, but you know, it's getting closer every year, unfortunately. Mm. Wow, what a stupid way to end a video. You know, the video's going so well. And I gotta say, well, you know, see you guys next year. Hopefully, uh, I'm, not, I'm not dead. Mm, great ending to a video. Anyway, see you guys at SHOT Show 2024.